Hi, I'm Adam Abraham, and I am continuing my learning, my studies, if you will, my appreciation for the potential uh, and the power of having or taking in optimally structured living vital water. Uh, and I'm also realizing that water is something that is so fundamental uh, to everything else as it relates to our health and well-being so fundamental, more fundamental than medicinal, more fundamental than pharmaceuticals. It is fundamental to our beingness. If you don't have enough water, uh, healthy water in your system, you cannot be healthy. And there are states of water and structured being and representing the optimal state. Now these are more than words. Uh, I These are words now, but uh, experience had to help form them and that meant going out and meeting people seeing people uh... and discussing and, and letting them share their own experience which is what we're about to do right now uh... we're about to learn or you're about to meet joe johnson he is a microbiologist who has seen some amazing results in a very short period of time using the photonic water structuring device I'm in Port Wyneme, California, one of the bread boxes and one of the centers of the bread box of America in California. Growing is happening everywhere. And in this case, uh, on a, a wide expanse of strawberries. And an amazing uh, result, an amazing uh, experiment is going on right now. We are calibrated. This is Joe Johnson. He's a microbiologist for ABC Organics, located in Port Wyneme, California. And in his hand is a refractometer, wow, with which he will measure the nutrient density of strawberries. What we got? Oh yeah, that's a 10. Looking on is Jeffrey Riggins, photonic water applications specialist. We didn't find any tens the whole time we were on that side. No. So, would you um, just summarize the situation? This is um, a field that was picked this morning, and the berries you're seeing are second choice. Um, that means they weren't uh, either big enough or uh, red enough for them to consider uh, picking them and putting them in a basket and shipping them off. And the nutrient quality uh, on these berries is running about 20% over the ones on that side that have had a couple of weeks to grow and be free of picking. So the leftovers from this field, which has uh, been documented to be a poor quality, are 20% better than anything we found on the other side. The documentation on the quality of the as far as the soil? That's, uh, as far as the sugars in the plant go, oh, the, okay, gotcha. the, 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 these, these berries here are showing to have a higher nutrient value by about 20% than the, the berries on that side, which haven't, have, haven't been picked in over a week. And what's the difference? Have these been watered with structured water? Or yeah, water? These, these ones have been, this is a plot that's been separated and only watered with structured water once. So in the one time it was watered with structured water, this uh, this field has jumped by 20%, uh, which is a poor field above the, uh, the areas next to it which have better soil. And this has been over what, a two day time span? It's a two day time span. We're talking 48 hours. Yeah, 48 hours. Okay. We're buried. Let's talk a little bit about structuring. It's from your perspective and what you see structuring is um, the event is, is making happen, so to speak. What is it facilitating? Well, um, the structuring unit um, seems to mimic to me, I mean, the only equivalent that I can say, it's not changing the water in any way. In the same way, when you get rain from the sky, it's... It's, it's the same chemically as the w water that hit the ground. Maybe the water on the ground has more salts in it. But even if you purify those salts out, distilled water doesn't have the same effect on plants. So when they were talking about biophotonics 
um, and the energy level of water. The only the only difference in the water is is really the structure of the water that comes in when it falls from the sky. As water falls from the sky, it interacts with the oxygen, of course, in the air, and uh, the oxygen gets hit by the rays of the sun and and collects a a lot of energy, a lot of positive energy, which is the difference between the positive energy and the in the atmosphere and the negative charge of the earth is you know what causes lightning right. and so what i'm seeing is just that uh, as the water is falling through the sky it picks up those positive charges and uh, brings them into the earth and that's why your vegetables grow like crazy when you're done and so it seems to me like this photonic unit is actually mimicking that natural process um, and the results are uh, pretty evident to me the beauty of this form of learning is that the plants which are taking this water in don't really have an agenda. They don't care who funded the study. They don't care uh, where to do the research. It's simply about energy. Animals are that way too. Pets, um, cattle, the commercial applications, the agricultural applications and potential and importance of using optimally structured water are immense. Uh, and for that matter, it actually even uh, even talking about industrial applications, we are just simply still yet to learn that. But I talked to Joe Johnson just yesterday, a week after being out there with him in California, and the trend has continued. The uh, berries, the strawberries in the area that has using the structured water, that's receiving structured water, are now averaging at over a nine. Uh, they are they are higher than the best of the field before uh, the unit was installed, and he's seeing some other areas. Uh, in fact, Joe observed that structured water accelerates microbial uh, metabolism, uh, microbial processes, and this allows it just speeds everything up. But this is a way when the microbes are happy, when they have the energy that they need they do their thing quicker and that also means they get results this is one we uh... this is one reason why um, plants grow faster and they are hardier because they're getting the full spectrum of the essential ingredient that they need and that actually is light <laughs>